I've learned a lot over the four decades of health and fitness and being in the trenches with the greatest in the world. And one of those things I've learned a lot more about and how to build better muscle is nutrition and how it has changed over the decades. And that's why I have the Titan meal plan for you guys out there that are confused about nutrition. I'm gonna set you straight. Get a hold of me today. The link will be in the comments down below for you guys. Everybody, get over to the Titan Meal Plan and I'll see you in the Titan Crew where I will fine tune any difficulties that you're having. Would you say uh, uh, this is royalty to the health and fitness world? I call this old school brotherhood, iron brothers, CT Fletcher's in the house. Mona's finally happy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for making it in. Oh, of course. Had to be you. I want me a watch like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let him wear it for hey, throughout hey, the whole hey, time. Take some video. No, I, I'd go blind if I put that on. It's going to help me see it at night. Not at all, right? It's not so we got in here. Thank you for doing this, because I know that you jumped on some planes, got in here right from the airport over here to sit down with me in the vault pros gym where you have jungle wars going on tonight absolutely uh, midwest me. kong invited me to come to jungle wars and we're gonna have some fun <laughs> so what happens at jungle wars oh my god we have savage beast out there going head to head to see who's the baddest beast in the valley oh, man. <laughs> Crazy. Bunch of fun. King, king of the jungle. Gonna, yeah, they're gonna go to war like me and Mike used to do back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're some we're, we're some late eighties, early nineties boys. Yep. Powerlifting days, and uh, I, I was introduced to CT early on, in a, in a very unique, fun-loving way. <laughs> I think it is because it was it was very old school. Yep. Yeah. We, Absolutely. Like we said, I, raised by OGs, not IG. And so it was a very uh, strong hello. Yeah. Competition, like right out of the gate, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I was, it was it was at the California Powerlifting Championships. Yep. And uh, go for it, he, he says this much better than I can. Yep, and we were all getting ready and all psyched up and I thought I was pretty hot at the time. <laughs> and somebody comes through and they're telling us, oh my God. Michael Hearn is coming. Michael Hearn is going to be at this meet. Michael Hearn is coming. And I said, uh, Michael Hearn. <laughs> What's so special about this month? You know, they was all excited because Michael Hearn was coming. And I was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to turn this show out. That guy, you know what I mean? So it was, uh, that's how we met. You know, he's all, he looked the f same, man. Yeah. I, That's what disgusting. <laughs> 35 years later, this month looked two years older. What kind of <laughs> is that, man? I got the same story. Yeah. 1989, yeah. 1989, we're outside getting ready to go into this bodybuilding contest to Mr. California. Yeah. Natural Mr. California. Yeah. And I'm feeling myself, and everyone's talking about this guy, Michael. Hunter's yeah. Talking. I was like, f Michael. Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> what the f he walks man. right past with his posse, and he goes down, looks at all of us, just kind of nods. Yeah. And we're like, oh man, that's that dude. <laughs> so I go down. He's hiding in his little steps with all of his people, and he's pumping up. And I came back to everybody. I'm like, yeah, I think he's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> I see what they was talking about yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, and we're here, still here, here we are. today. Still here. here. Years later. Yeah. So if you guys didn't know the story behind like Stan or these guys, is uh, F Michael Hearn. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna get a shirt that says that. Hell yeah. yeah. I'll buy one of them up. Jeffrey, you have to do that shirt. Um, thanks for being on this journey with me. And I'm so proud to call you both friends. And we've been doing this for a long, long time. And what a day I've had with a couple of these cats that really idolize you and, and, and look up to you. And Man, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> but what, what was cool is that you were like the pinnacle of, of someone that comes in complete savage when it comes to alphas. You're not just an alpha, but you're, you're the alpha that fires up alphas. And so to see these young cats look at you and, and go, this is who I'm following along. It goes back to the thing and it's been this continuous it's not about moving weights, it's about moving people. And you're, you're motivating 
the most motivating people. And so for me to you, my man, you, you, you're, again, it's, we're going to have a legacy and, and they're going to be able to talk about you in a great light, you know? Well, that's, that's, uh, that's unbelievable, <laughs> especially coming from where we come from, man. You look at it. A cat that's flatlined five times, you know what I mean? Heart transplant and everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. And we're still here. I'm still talking to my buddies and still saying, Michael Hearn. <laughs> <laughs> 35 years later, Michael Hearn. <laughs> If you are confused about training, do not worry. That's what the Titan training plan is for. For you guys to subscribe to this plan, you also get the additional coaching from me in the Titan private group. Get in there today, and I cannot wait to start working with you and making your dreams come true. Let's get back to the show. But the thing about what he's saying is they, they all refer to you as Pops. And I've always said yeah. that the three most powerful titles, as far as a man is concerned, is Dad, Pastor, Coach. Yeah. And and you're all of that to these forces of energy that came through Man, here and turned been... this place out. Like we're in a safe. This place could have blew up. <laughs> yeah. People were coming back to see what was going on in this. Yeah, in I this, bet they were, yeah. Relative to what was going on out there. And, but that's again, it's you're this this pack leader, this this leader of the wolves, and these guys are such savages and they just look at you and just go that that uh, that NDO champ boy, he don't he, got no off switch. No, he don't. Twenty four seven. Every time you see him, he just I'm like champ. Will you sit the down? <laughs> <laughs> Take a damn break. You know. What I mean? His story is identical to Mona's story about coming over from another country, not speaking the language, going to New York, and, and becoming savages in their own right. And oh it was, yeah. It was so cool to hear that, and then. And then now, Mona's a bona fide savage. Yeah. She's bona fide. Agreed. Run for her, it wouldn't be no Michael Hearn. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. a great point. It's a great point. It's, it's, uh, it's good to have that. Yeah. And, and you are around these, these individuals that are the most savage. And your voice takes people to another level. Just your voice. Well, you know, I, I love it, man. I love seeing these young guys come along and do what we used to do back in the day. I just like being around the energy and uh, as crazy as I we used to get crazy, man. And, you know, I don't want to see crazy die. Thank crazy you. people change the world, man. You know mm -hmm. why? Because crazy people can't be discouraged. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much you try to discourage a crazy motherfucker. You can't discourage <laughs> no crazy. That ain't going to work. Don't do it. Crazy motherfuckers don't care about none of that. They're gonna do the shit anyway. <laughs> you can discourage to do everything you can possibly do to try to discourage the crazy motherfuckers can't do it. So that's why we need crazy motherfuckers. Crazy motherfuckers change the world. And you're gonna piss some people off along the way. Oh yeah. Oh, fine. I heard someone say that, and I did something crazy right after it. It was in a podcast, and a guy said something. I'm like, I gotta go in there. And I'm looking around like, I need to go in this podcast because this kid just said he was gonna die. It was all overweight and stuff. But prior to me going on there, the guy said that. He said, crazy people change. I, I busted in, and they acted like I was, you know, stopping the world. And I'm like, I just did something crazy. <laughs> yeah. But they got all mad and butter. Um, so you just got to keep keep it moving. Yeah. Don't matter. Don't yeah. matter. Yeah. People yeah. we're around, the people that we're around and, and, and involve ourselves with are those odd cats. They are the outliers. They are the, the lone wolves. And you could say, don't do that. And they're like, what do you, I don't even know what you're saying. Right. Okay. <laughs> There's no question about that. It's just a, a different level, and I agree with you. It's, it's the crazies that... They changed the world, man. Can you imagine back in 1830, whenever the fuck it was, and Wright brothers said, we're going to fly an airplane. <laughs> Anybody else walking around, and we're going to do what? Orville Wilbur, you some crazy motherfucker. <laughs> and then, now, look. Everybody yeah. flying here. No, we're sitting in a yeah. chair in the sky. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's it's that, and it's it, and I agree. I, I don't want. I'm sick. I know that when it comes to lifting heavy, I love this stuff, hey, and yes. I don't want it to die. And and now that I'm a first time father, you know, my son's four, and, and I'm seeing how Mo and I are raising him. I'm just like, I want to pass that on. Yeah, I want to absolutely. Pass that on. 
Your ass is crazy out there doing behind the neck presses when every scientific <laughs> mother on the planet says that's right. bad for you. Right. Oh, that's bad for you, don't do that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh. Rewind that, everybody. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's that time again to get my blood work done to see where my numbers are. Again, the one big thing for me is I'm keeping track of it. It's so precise. You know, I competed in bodybuilding and powerlifting and martial arts, but that was all over decades ago. And so how can I continue to keep this physique and be this strong at this stage? And so that is by optimizing my health with Titan Medical. It all stems from one thing, your blood work, what's going on inside of you. And that's the main thing that I'm focused about is see how I can continue to not just be in the game. I don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna be a weekend warrior. I don't wanna say you got a dad bod. I wanna be the pinnacle of the health and fitness industry decades after I competed. And I've always said this too, you got so many of these guys that were with me in the 80s and 90s and they keep putting the pictures up from the 80s and 90s. I don't wanna be that guy. I like the fact that I can still put up pictures of me today, even though I won the universe back in the 90s. That's the goal for me. I don't know what your goal is, but I can tell you this, I know you wanna live and I know you wanna live your best life. And that starts with blood work. Over at Titan Medical, start today. I gotta ask about the transplant. I was watching something on one of the social media about how when someone has an organ transplanted and heart being the most precious of all organs, right? Because that makes us who we are. So there's DNA transferred from the organ donor. Mm -hmm. What have you experienced in your life since your transplant that you have felt the effects of that DNA Man, entering in your body? It, it's, uh, you know, I have to agree. I get some strange sense that I know Hey, this, yeah, what the f you know, nobody else can smell this but me. You don't smell that, that's more like, you don't smell that too? No, because on top of that, the heart I have is from a woman. Yeah. So just, I get some strange sometimes, and I'm like, hey, lady. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lady, what are, you, what are you trying to tell me? You know what I mean? She's like, hey, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I'll tell you how crazy I am. I talk to her. Whenever, I'm, if I'm having a difficult time, I will, hey, lady, I need some help. Yeah, you know, before I got these stem cells, especially, I'm like, look, I'm about to pass the f out, lady. Do you think you could help the old man out a little bit? And I know that's crazy as f and I don't care. It's okay. I mean, uh, it was a crazy dude in 1968 who said you could take a heart from a dead person, put it in a living person, and they will live. Right. And that's some Dr. Frankenstein <laughs> But I'm f***ing here, man. Really? So, you know, I love crazy motherfuckers. You know, I'm yeah. glad to be counted in the number of yeah. crazy motherfuckers. Yes. Did you? Shit, shit. I, I think I remember you saying one time, you, you don't know who the woman is, but you thought she was Asian? Yeah. And, I, you know, I wrote a letter to the family. They never responded to us, so I, I don't know. You don't know for yeah, sure, but I don't that's know. your feeling? Yeah. That's my feeling. But I don't know. I've never either. heard any of that yeah. before. Yeah. That sucked in. Yeah. It's, and it's so cool that be here with somebody that says, no, I smell things, yeah. and yeah. things, and... Some odd man, I'm like, hey, well, wow. keep me going, old lady, keep me going. And, you know, and the, the doctor who came in and told me, because they wasn't supposed to tell me who the donor was or right. anything about it, but right. every time he would come in, he'd say, hey, Mr. Post, how you doing today? And I always say, I'm blessed, man, I say, I'm blessed. And I think that it pissed him off that I would say I'm blessed instead of, you know, well, you know, it's a milk, thank you doctors, you know. I thank you doctors, of course. Yeah. But I think, you know, I, I flatlined one time when I wasn't near a hospital, nobody around, just me and the wife, I'm at home and I flatlined. And so no doctors don't get credit for that one. Right. You know, so doc, I tell them I'm blessed, man, because you wasn't there then, dude. Wow. You know, somebody stepped in and you wasn't there. So I give credit to, you know, of course, the medical doctors and their expertise in what they did, especially that crazy son of in 68 who did the first one. Yep. But I also give a whole lot of credit to the man upstairs. So He's number one. You, that's right. He's Anytime number one. you ask sure. me how I'm doing, I'm going to say I'm blessed, man. Whether it's popular or not. Who's going to tell you otherwise? Yeah. yeah. But he, he's always been that old school, I'll tell you how it is. And, and I love it. Uh, like Marty, you've you got no filter. You, you just say it the way it is, yeah. and if, if they if they can't handle it, they can't handle it. 
Yeah, that's a curse and a blessing. <laughs> but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be me. And uh, one thing I could say about Michael Hearn, even though him, uh, he has not changed in 35 years that I've known him, he's always the same, prettiest. <laughs> True. Now, I'm, Mona, I've always wanted to ask you this, dear. Who spends the most time in the mirror? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Not even a question. question. I, I thought so. I always thought so, but I wanted to ask you to make sure. You're the type of girl I am. You can tell you. I don't even look in the mirror. Oh. I get up, I put my hair in the ponytail and I'm out. I don't got time for that shit. But he do, don't he? <laughs> He's taking powder breaks. Yeah, he got time. Oh my God. <laughs>